All right, we're back. We're jumping straight into this. We ended last time. We just came out of the nether. We got all our um, ender pearls and our blaze rods. We're going to go ahead and we're going to save one of these. We're going to craft this up and let's only make, let's, let's make 14 right now. We're going to go ahead and get our direction. All right, we're heading this way and we already lost one, of course. We got a bunch of food we can smell too, so we're in no danger there. We're already very close to a uh, a thousand, so we could actually see the portal in this ocean. I would not be surprised at all. I'm gonna throw this again at uh, I'll say 1,200 the ocean monument right there. I'm gonna try not to get mining fatigue. All right, um, let's go ahead and throw this. Oh, all right, that's interesting. I think the pearl was a little more this way on the uh, x-axis, so we're gonna mine over here the, towards this way. I really don't know how deep uh, this thing spawns, so it could be going for a while. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna check how deep they spawn. Because it's best to look before or below y equals zero, and we're approaching that, so I'm not too worried yet. I'm still confident it could be around here, so I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna hope we dig into a cave system, honestly. But I really do. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of the gold helmet. I can't think of another scenario where we need it. Well, that doesn't really help us. <laughs> just gonna keep going until we hit a cave, hopefully. That's the plan as of right now. Oh, I hit a cave. Oh wait, <gasps> yes, I found it. Oh, thank gosh, okay. That's really good, it's very good. I am gonna go up to the surface though and get more wood because I have zero. And I do not think it'd be smart to go into the end with zero wood. <laughs> so now I need to take down these coordinates, so 1393, 290, okay. One thing I also need to do is I also need to grab a bed I'm just gonna make a pillar here. Okay, I see some over here. We also need to get stuff for another bed because, like an idiot, I totally forgot to make one. Are those. What? How. Two ocean monuments spawning. What, 200 blocks apart? That's actually unheard of. They have trees, that's what I need. <laughs> Isn't this really the only land where- ah. Uh, that one's probably better over there. Let's go over here. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the village I slept at. So we're back. At least I can sleep and get the night over with. Wrong house. Of course I picked the one house that doesn't have a bed. Two houses that don't have beds. Alright, now I just need some wood. I need to steal a bed. I also need to get a bow and arrow. Completely forgot about that too. <laughs> so there's still actually quite a lot to do. I don't really know why I spent all that time finding the portal. I don't need that. I already have that. All right. So I definitely need my pickaxe. I want to grab those diamonds. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a sword. And just throw that food in there. We're going to cook this food while we're here too. We're just going to fully prepare while we're in this village. I just try to make a sword with meat. Very nice. Very nice. We need to collect beds as well. I think there's a Fletcher somewhere where I could use my emerald. I think that's him over there. Get arrows. I believe I can make... I have to make the Fletcher table in order to get a Fletcher. I don't think they spawn naturally. Hmm, you know what I could do? The iron golem. That's scary. And right, we got five iron. Nice. Perfect, actually. I think if we mine one more tree, we probably would have enough wood. Three beds, probably enough. 
All I need now is a bow and arrow. Bow and some arrows, I guess. So, now we gotta go get gravel, make a Fletcher's table, trade the emeralds for arrows, and buy a bow. Simple. I guarantee you this will take at least a minute and a half. Maybe not. Oh, wow. I take it back. I'm sorry. Actually, pretty decent luck. Alright. <clears throat> Let's trade. Um, so I know I need arrows and a bow. I'm trying to think of anything else that is useful besides beds in a fight. Nice. I think I can set them on fire. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough emeralds to trade for a bow. I guess you can't do bow, so we'll just have to get string for a bow. Which isn't terrible. We got the sticks for it. We have to wait around and get some spiders. But I do think we can go ahead and start heading back towards the area because I think we can just kill the spiders down in that cave. Alright, I see my pillar up there. A good sign. I get my blocks out. I think if I remember, yeah. Just down here, and then I can water bucket down there. Yep. Yeah. I hope, I don't apologize if y'all can't see. Well, I don't have any like fancy shaders or anything on, so. Alright, so now, the exciting part, we get to collect these diamonds that we found. The hard part, figuring out what to get rid of. Ugh, I think, oh, uh, basalt, easily. At six? All right, we got decisions to make now then. I think we do that and that. I think that's just logical. I'll keep the iron pick, I'm gonna throw away this. I need the bed. That looks good, that looks, all this looks good. All right, so now we just, we go down. It's that simple. And then we go, and I believe it was down this way. Keep in mind, we need to get a bow though. So we gotta kill spiders. I'm very on edge right now. <laughs> you can imagine why. First spider. Nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna leave y'all in there. <laughs> There's another staircase over here. Be a little more careful. Yeah, there's a much bigger area over here of the stronghold. I was like, that doesn't look like it's really leading me anywhere. Bow? Oh, I thought he dropped the bow. But, oh, nice. I'm still trying to find my spiders, though. I need the string. Uh, this is scary. Alright, let's see what we got going here. I need to start destroying these doors so I know where I've been. What? Door to a wall. Very nice. Like there's a... Okay, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, the fountain room. Double fountain room. <laughs> I've been down here. Yeah, that's where the cage is. Okay, I'm starting to get a sense of direction. I haven't been in this area. Yeah, see? The library. I haven't been here yet. I got my string. I didn't even think about that. While we're in a lit up area, we're gonna do this. See if this chest has anything. Oh my gosh, what? Sharpness 3, Feather Falling 4. That's an insane book that we can't even use. I mean, sure, I'll, I guess. Why not? Now we're fully prepared to go to the end. I didn't even think about that. Starting to feel close, but I still don't feel safe or like I'm about to find it, if that makes any sense. We've been looking for like 10 minutes now. Uh, a lot of dead ends here. A lot of dead ends. What if I look down this staircase? <gasps> yes, I found it. Alright, cool. Wow, we actually did it. We have found the portal. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set our spawn. Respawn point set. We're going to go ahead and get our eyes of Ender out. It's a zero eye. Wow. We're going to light the portal. Oh, 
Wow, that's... That is very surreal. <laughs> that is very surreal. Alright, what else could we do to make our lives a little easier? So, let's go ahead and... Craft a new shield. So let's get rid of that, put that in. What else do we not need? We don't need the doors, that, for sure. The gold. Guess not that. Chest plate. Keep the wood in case we need to make something. Same with this. We'll use the steak, actually. We don't need bread anymore. Got our bow. Respawn point is set. We got two extra beds. I think we're as ready as we'll get, guys. So let's... I'm just, yeah, let's hop in. Not even think about it. Wow. We are in the end. I honestly never thought I'd make it this far. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh wow, I missed. I missed that one bad. Nice. 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 I got an idea. Let's go ahead and climb this one. Got a bunch of blocks. We got water in case we fall. The only thing we cannot do is fall off into the void. Because then it's pretty much challenge over. We got only got three more. I can't see where I'm missing. I got it. Okay, sweet. Now we just gotta climb the towers with the uh, cages. Okay, it's a little hard to MLG with them. Um, oh, these aren't even that tall. We might be. We might be in a good spot here. I think we are, but I feel like we're doing fairly well. Still got 43 arrows, so worst comes to worst. Nice. We still haven't looked at any Endermen, which is what I was really worried about. So I'm happy about that. Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't think he can heal anymore. Yeah, he would be right now. Wow. Whoa. I don't know how I got that low there, but I didn't like it, so I left. <laughs> Was I in Dragonfire? Oh my gosh, this Diamond Axe was a smart decision. But right now, we're looking really good. I'm not even going to risk using the beds. This diamond axe is shredding. Ooh. What a shot. Oh, I'm so nervous for some reason. Come so far. One more hit. Two more hits with the diamond axe and he's mine. Oh my goodness. We did it. <laughs> we actually did it. Oh my gosh, I feel so good. I am getting all of this XP. All of this XP. I deserved it. I would get the dragon egg except, uh... Wow. Okay, he ruined it, but that's okay. We did it. On our third try to beat the game as noob. As a Minecraft noob, we did it. We unlocked the end portal. If we ever want to explore that, we can. Oh my goodness, I can't even express how happy I am that this is over. We're going to jump in. And we get the credits at the end of the game. Gentlemen, thank you for sticking with me to the end. I know it's been a two-part series, and those aren't always the most fun to watch, but I do appreciate you sticking through me to the end. It's been a journey. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank you.